What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back for another video. Let's see, put on. Everybody in my house is getting sick, and like we've been fighting. The kids switched schools recently, um, and we've been fighting this cold season or whatever we're, we're having here ever since my kids switched schools they've been picking up all the new germs from all the new students that they're in contact with or whatever yeah, yeah. sweaters right now because it's about to start getting hot in Vegas but if I was in Colorado I would probably possibly buy um, something like that but I always find myself in this section <clears throat> buying up stuff that's on clearance so like this is really cute to me but and I would normally buy this because I like this color but it is a sweater it's only nine dollars i would probably get maybe one good wear out of this and i don't even know when and it's a 3x so it's way too big but it's cute i'm almost tempted to just buy it just for pictures on ig <laughs> everybody is always asking where i'm getting my little outfits from it's from walmart not all the time but lately it's been from walmart they've Walmart is the plug, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all. My little sweater dress that I got that everybody's always asking me about, this is it. Got it from here. They also have a neon pink one. 
That's pretty cute. <clears throat> and it's like $11, so worth it. They have some cute stuff. This one's cute too. I don't know how, but this is a shot with me. And we ended up over here. This is really cute. I like this one. I might have to buy this, huh? That's cute. You just gotta know how to wear this stuff, guys. I don't care how much money I will make, I will always, I will never be too good to wear some cute Walmart stuff, okay? It don't really matter what you do, guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the news. Well, you really need to understand that I don't wanna be your store minus soap and stuff that I needed to take that I took upstairs okay so I bought some candy hearts for treats for the kids I got some store brand fruit loops cheese mayonnaise I didn't buy today um, grapes lemons English cucumber which I'm about to cut up and eat right now chicken broth got three of these um, two green bell peppers, some green onion, some lemon wine sodas for the kids who have upset stomachs, um, garlic, corn dogs for like an after school snack while I cook, mango, this one's for me, I really love mango, um, some mini farfalle, that is, um, that's gonna, I'm debating on whether I want to put this, if I want to have noodles in the soup or if I want to just do potato. Some ketchup, some Mrs. Dash seasoning. Uh, it's this, lately it's been this and my kicking chicken. That's just ba basically it. This, my kicking chicken, a little pepper. Again, more cucumber. We've got, uh, we've got some bananas here. A loaf of fresh bread. Some diced chicken breast for the soup. Um, I usually actually use either this is my this is gonna be my first time using the diced chicken breast for soup. I've used this brand of stuff for like quesadillas and other things, um, so it's really good. I do like this chicken. Um, I just wanted something quick and easy. I needed to save that step tonight so I didn't have to cut up the chicken breast myself. But usually I would use like chicken breasts. Usually I would use boneless, skinless chicken breasts and just cut them up myself. But that, like I said, if you're trying to look for something quick and easy like I am than this or sometimes I will buy a deli chicken you know how they make those whole roasted chickens I will go buy one of those and I will just um, chop it up shred it down and throw it in the pot with the seasonings and stuff like that but if you guys want to know how I make my chicken noodle soup or how I'm going to make it this time please be sure to check out the next video coming because that is going to show you guys how I make my good chicken noodle soup at home easy fake it till you make it whatever you want to call it corn I'll probably throw some of this in the soup too some oranges, milk, potato, potatoes, some um, jalapenos, bologna for sandwiches, um, a small pack of emergencies. Usually I buy these like in big packs, but some bread and we've got some strawberries over here, some blueberries. I don't know if I showed you guys the grapes. And then, of course, we got some chips that we've already been working on. If you guys want to see how I make this fire chicken noodle soup tonight, be sure to check out the next video, which is me making chicken noodle soup. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Also, if you want to see more videos like these shot with me, let me know in the comments down below, and I will make sure we get some more out there for y'all. All right, and until next time. Bye. Bye.